Hey, what's going on everybody? PK Light here, bringing you a brand new video. We're going to be talking about the Sun and Moon Forbidden Light set today. I thought it would be fun if we could just kind of jump into a little overview about the set itself before we open any packs. But that being said, we do have packs. We have lots of packs. We have Elite Trainer Box, which we're going to open this video. And then for the next following videos, probably next two videos, we're going to open up a uh, booster box. So, but before we open anything, I think it'd be best to be a little informed about what we're opening. So here we are, Forbidden Light, Sun and Moon, over 130 cards. There's five Prism Star cards, eight Pokemon GX, six Ultra Beasts, 15 Trainer cards, two Special Energies. Excuse me. Um, pretty standard. It's pretty normal for the size of a set it is. It isn't kind of small or a, or a weird one-off set. Um... We see the poster child for this whole set, the Ultra Necrozma. See if we can, no, we can't click on that. Uh, we also have arguably a pretty cool card here, Beast Energy. We'll get a little closer to that when we uh, get into the featured cards here. Do, 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 do. Come on, here we go. All right, all right, here we go. Feramosa, we have a basic Ultra Beast. Um, not bad um only kind of playable late in game with its attack white ray um if you have only one prize card remaining this attack will do 90 more damage so that's 180 plus any choice ban plus any uh Laurentis promo or whatever um additional uh attack like uh additional damage you can add to that attack so you could potentially one shot uh stage one potentially stage two pokemon with a basic ultra beast non-gx so that's pretty cool Naganadel, pretty cool. Let's click on you really fast. Take a look at this attack right here. Beast Raid, 20 times. This attack does 20 damage for each Ultra Beast in play. Now, there is a new trainer card that allows you to pull Ultra Beasts very easily. So you can very quickly fill your bench with Ultra Beasts in a, in a one energy attack. You could do pretty well here. Jet Needle, 110. Um, it can be powered up with one Psychic and a, and a DCE. Um, I always like that combination for powering up. It's fairly easy. Um, attack damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. All right. Stinger GX. Uh, we have three uh, no colorless energy. Uh, both players shuffle their prize cards into their deck. Then each player puts the top three cards of their deck face down as their prize cards. So what I'm seeing here is I guess maybe if you're down in a game, perhaps they've only got one prize card left. If you hit them with Stinger GX, you can essentially refill your prize cards. Um, depending on where you're at, if you only have less than three prize cards left, you might actually put some back on yourself, but it could potentially keep you from losing the game. So interesting. Uh, not a super great GX attack, but like I said, Beast Raid certainly can be taken advantage of using, let's just jump over to that card really fast, take a look at it, uh, Ultra Space. Uh, again, I already explained what it does, but we'll just read it. Um, each player, uh, during their turn, may search their deck for an Ultra Beast, reveal it, put it in their hand, shuffle their deck. So again, an easy way to power up Niganadel's, uh first attack there. So let's move on to Zygarde. Zygarde, interesting card. I would consider it playable as well. <clears throat> Has 200 HPs. Not bad for a basic, definitely above average. Uh, so, Cell Connector. Attach two Fighting Energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Very cool. So you open, you cold open with a DCE. Attach two energies using your first attack, which you have 50. You hit it, um, choice ban, you're already hitting 80 with one DCE attachment. By the next turn, you're powering up Land's Wrath or Verdict GX. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks of Pokemon GX and EX on your next turn. Um, also, uh, Zygarde, as you know from his EX card, had his own special trainer, um, to enhance damage and this time we have a supporter named bonnie so bonnie's job is if they're 
Okay, you can play this card if there's a stadium card in play. Discard the stadium card during this turn. Zygarde GX can use its GX attack even if you've already used your GX attack. So that's a new one. No other Pokemon that I know of yet has the ability to use this GX twice. Now Zygarde does. However, sorry, let me click on that again. It's only hitting for 150, but with the ability to increase your damage through cards such as uh, Regirock and the new Diancie Prism Star, which will be our very next one. And this will be a staple in every single fighting deck for now on and for forever, probably. Princess Cheer's ability. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, your fighting Pokemon's attack do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. I mean, right there, that's Regirock times two in one card, and you don't have to lose two cards if you get knocked out. So, I mean, I've never been a big fan of Regirock, just for the fact it takes three fighting energies to power up. Uh, you lose two prize cards, you often don't always power it up, and it only gives you plus 10 uh, damage, whereas here, Diancie with one card will give you two. So, it's going to free up a lot of bench space and fighting decks and still give you that, that extra oomph that you're looking for. Uh, and if you're really saucy you can play diancy and um, regirock and you can really get your numbers up there but again you're just feeling a lot of bench space with um cards you're not necessarily going to hit with not your main attackers but diancy i think best person star card in this whole set we didn't really cover the attacks not that important to be honest diancy is all about that ability guzzlord actually do we skip over no we're good guzzlord probably the least playable card in this whole thing we're going to look at right now okay so guys lord is a basic has 160 hp lord's valley hits for 106 requires four dark energy attachments not great totally expected for guys lord though if you have exactly two four six prize cards remaining discard the top 10 cards of your deck now there is going to be some sort of tech for this card in the future that will make that makes sense i'm sure some sort of um some sort of janky other card could be in a following set that'll come out that will somehow synergize with this guzzler but at the moment this is completely unplayable and untouchable so let's just hope we don't get too many of those ultra necrozma the uh the poster pokemon for this set pretty cool looking just kind of like the artwork similar to the uh elite trainer box okay photon geyser First of all, this is a dragon Pokemon, but it runs like a psychic, hence the uh, energies here. When your Pokemon, oh no, we're not going to talk about that part. Photon Geyser, 20 plus. Discard all basic psychic energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 80 more damage for each card you discarded this way. Um, yeah, so you want to probably use your Lunala um, Prism card to try and bring back all these energies and... Uh, yeah, just keep hitting Photon Geyser. That's that's your money shot right there. I mean, you only have two two attacks. Photon Geyser and Sky Scorching Light GX. You can use this attack only if the total of both players' remaining cards is six or less. Put six damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, right off the top of my head, I'm seeing Tapu Lele Prism, uh, from Prism Set. Um, it's a fairy uh, a Pokemon, but it allows you to move damage counters. Um, so essentially, if you could spread six damage counters across all of his Pokemon and then follow up with a Tapu Lele, excuse me, you can redistribute those in a way that could create multiple knockouts. You could potentially win the game. You know, if they, they could have three prize cards left, you could have three prize cards left and you can activate the GX, bring in the Tapu Lele and basically just win the game. So uh, pretty excited. Uh, but Ultra Necrozma, definitely going to be trying to play this card. Um, let's hope we get some. <laughs> uh, between my... Uh, I was donated through an anonymous person nearly 60 codes already for the Forbidden Light for the online game. And I have about 40 of my own. So we have about 100 codes to open online. And I play a lot online. So Ultra Necrozma is definitely going to be a deck I'm looking to build right away. Let's get out of here. Let's go check out some more. Didn't want to click on that right okay coming down we've already looked at ultra space let's check out beast energy all right 
Prism Star rule, everybody knows you can't use more than one. All right, this card provides colorless energy. While it is attached to an Ultra Beast, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. The attacks of the Ultra Beast this card is attached to do 30 more damage. So this is like a second choice ban for an Ultra Beast. It's amazing. It provides all kinds of energy, 30 extra damage, attach a choice ban, and you have 60 damage you're doing on your Ultra Beast with not even factoring in their actual attack. That's pretty amazing. That's very amazing, actually. So this game is going to get very interesting. It's 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 very OP. I'm glad there's it's a Prism Star and you can only use one because if that was just a regular card, wow, things would just get nuts. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Wrong. Clicked on the wrong button. Beast Energy. Definitely would like to get that. So we've already quickly looked at Bonnie and we talked about how it Zygarde, uh, resets Zygarde's GX attack. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, that is the basic overview of the main cards. Um, we can just jump right into a quick overview of some of the other cards here. Oh, it's not going to let me do that apparently. I thought that was going to bring me to a larger list. That's okay, guys. You know what? I think we're just going to just cut the uh, overview short right there. Uh, that's our main stuff we're looking for. So let's just jump into the pack opening. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So we're here with the Elite Trainer box. Uh, we're going to open this just for now. We are going to open up the uh, booster box in the next couple of videos. But... Uh, Hey, we're going to get eight packs and we get to check out some of the cool artwork and uh, some of the new features to this new set here. So let's just read the back really fast. So we are getting eight Sun and Moon Forbidden Light packs, 65 card sleeves featuring Ultra Necrozma, 45 Pokemon TCG Energy cards, a player's guide for the expansion, six damage counter dice, uh, one competition legal coin flip die, two acrylic condition markers and one acrylic GX marker. A collector's box to hold everything with four dividers to keep it organized. A code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. So definitely be using that. Get some of these new uh, new box and sleeves for the online game. I always like uh, having something from every set. I have quite a few of them already. But um, so here, this is our Forbidden Light Elite Trainer box opening. We're just gonna jump right into So we got the player's guide here, pretty cool. We have cardboard. Nice, very nice box. Yeah, I really want some more collectible boxes and cool things to put up in the channel because I just don't have a lot of stuff like that. So I see the energies nicely sealed up. Never a bad thing having some extra energies lying around. More cardboard, we'll get rid of that. Let me see. There's our dice, very cool. Um, we have some, almost look like coasters, but I highly doubt that's what they are. These are the dividers for the box, okay, cool. <laughs> it's like they kind of look like coasters and they feel like coasters. Um, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, what else have we got in here? The Ultra Necrozma sleeves. Should be 65 of those. Just over a set. And let me see. There's our GX coin flipper. And our poison markers. And there's our 8 packs. Forbidden Light. We got Zygarde. We have Naganadel. Ultra Necrozma. Got some uh, Greninja. Those are our main pack stars this time. So let's put that there. Let's open them up. Let's put them. Yeah, it doesn't matter the order. They're all the same set. Let's just get right into it. So I'm really looking for Diancy Prism. Really excited by that card. So, a little bit of a thing there. Okay. Let's do a little 
check. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Let's hope for some good luck here. Gibble. Flabebe. Froki. Krogunk. Lit Leo. Dark Energy. Ooh, we have an Ultra Space right away. Very cool. I'll put that to the side. Uh, Brexen. Dewblade. Oh, we got a Beast Energy Prism right off. And that's, on, that's only the second spot, so. Okay, we have a Hollow Infernape as well. Very, very good first pack. So we got an Ultra Space and a Beast Energy from that pack. Plus the Hollow Infernape. Six damage counters instead of two. I believe this card already exists, but it might have new artwork. Don't quote me on that. So, let's put that in for now. Next pack. If you watch any of my videos, you do know that I give away some codes pretty much every video. But I like to do it randomly, so stick with me. If you haven't already left, there will be at least one code for free in this video. Oh wait, I need to do the thing. Okay. Very happy by that beast energy right off the top there. Well, let's get some more luck. Bergmite. Helioptile. Hone Edge. Scatterbug. Execute. Fairy Energy. Unidentified Fossil. Uxy. Mysterious Treasure. Cool. Oh, we got a, hol a reverse hollow Bonnie and a Malamar. Very nice. Malamar, very playable. Doing uh, doing all right for not hitting the, uh, the GXs and stuff so far. Mysterious Treasure. That's kind of a cool card, too. All right. Come on. Be nice for a little bit of GX magic now, you know. That ultimate Crosma. Alright, come on guys, luck, 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 luck. Esper, Panjam, Noibat, Clauncher, Gibble, Psychic Energy, Azelf, Spupa, awesome name, Dedene, always with the amazing artwork. Dedene, I think from Generations, has like one of the coolest artworks ever. Gumi, Avalug, oh, I was going to say, I think that's my last card. Alright, I was like, after the Gumi, I'm like, hey, wait a sec, that is the last one. Okay, let's read Gumi really fast. As long as this Pokemon is your active, your opponent's attacks are one star more, or one energy more. Interesting. I like that Dedene. Okay, we still have five packs. Let's go. There you guys go. Okay, Froakie, Clauncher, Krogunk, Flabebe, Binnacle, Psychic Energy, I don't know why I froze there, Frogadier, Enna Porter, interesting, a bit of focus there, Dewblade, Pancham Reverse, and we have a Dragolidge, interesting, not bad, not bad. What do we have here? We have the Naganadel. Come on, Naganadel, give us some luck. Maybe even you'll be in here. That'd be nice. Hold on a second. Execute. Esper. Pancham. Noibat. Launcher, Fighting Energy, Hoopa, Lysander Labs. Come on, give me a little focus here, bud. Not sure if I can cause that to focus or not. Nope. Well, that's too bad. I'll just read it off. Pokemon tool cards in play. Both yours and your opponent have no effect. Interesting. Come on, give me some focus here, bud. Mess Spirit. I don't actually know how to pronounce that properly. 
uh, Klotzer, Pangoro. Getting some very out of focus uh, shot from that last pack. Hopefully it doesn't stay like that. Okay, we have a Magnemite, Froki, Funnelby, Skrelp, Snover, Steel Energy. Just give me a little more focus, please. Alright, High Jump Kick. I don't know why I read that. Halucha, Brakeson, Azelf, Poipol, which we will need for evolution for Naganadel. That's Ultra Beast, actually. In a bomb of snow. Okay, our luck has not been super great so far. We're down to two packs, and we still don't have any. Ultra, we don't have any GX or anything yet. It'd be nice to <laughs> get at least one from eight packs, anyways. Okay, come on. We need some luck here. I'm getting super annoyed by this. There we go. Allotment. <laughs> I gotta stop saying the things. Okay, Binnacle. Magnemite. Froki. Bunnelby. Skrelp. Water Energy. Ultra Recon Squad. How did I miss that when I was checking the set over? Discard up to two Ultra Beast cards from your hand. Draw three cards for each card you've discarded that way. Interesting. Fossil Excavation Map. Lysander Labs. Bergmite. And... Zygarde Regular. Regular Art. Interesting. Still no GX. Pretty nervous. We're not going to get any major hits on this whole box, guys. Oh, I'm really nervous. I mean, we've had some nice cards, but... I mean, let's be honest, we all want some GX, right? Can't see open this one. Okay, we have Snover, Scatterbug, Cubone, Litleo, Flabebe, Fighting Energy, Dedene, Go Goats, Unidentified Fossil, uh, Fru Fru, Reverse, oh man, we didn't get any hits on this whole box, that is a little bit disappointing, but regardless, we have a Beast Energy, we have Malamar, what else did we get that was not too bad, we have the Poi Pole, uh, Ultra Beast, that's okay, um, what else did we get here? Well, I mean, we have the Ultra Space card, and we also have the Bonnie Reverse Hollow, which is, that's not too bad. But, um, remember, that's not going to be it, so we also have a whole booster box to open, and there are some definite guaranteed hits inside here. So, stay tuned on PK Light. Uh, if you enjoy what you see, please subscribe. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it as well. Um, I'm going to try and put out lots and lots of content for you guys, so uh, stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter if you don't already. I'm going to post lots of cool stuff there too. Uh, so for now, see you later guys.